Hello and welcome back to Coach's Corner. I'm Riley Stapleton here with girls lacrosse coach, Coach Layman. How are you doing today? Great, thank you. So uh, let's just jump right into it. Um, how have you felt about the season start, you know, off to 3-0 and real quick? Excellent. Yeah, can't complain about that. <laughs> three decisive wins too. Not really any of them close. In those three games, who's impressed you? Oh my goodness. Um, all of our seniors have stepped up, taken great leadership roles. Um, we also have had great response with Alyssa Angelo, um, just all, all around athletic, really. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's hard to pick just one player because they have all stood out to me. I believe um, everyone scored yesterday. Yes, yes, they did. <laughs> <laughs> the entire varsity team did score. <laughs> um, of all those people, you said the seniors are doing good. Has anyone come across as a leader? Yeah, there again, I mean, we have some, these girls have played together for a while. So I think with that combination and just having some great leadership skills, it's interesting to see how um, they kind of take turns with that. Our captains are phenomenal. Um, Emery Mitchell and we have Meg Goins and, oh my goodness, I don't want to go blank on anybody's <laughs> names. <laughs> um, we have um, Ivy Pearson and Emery Mitchell and Meg Goins and Caroline Broderick, of course. And uh, they've all been phenomenal. I mean, they've just stepped up. They lead the girls during the practices and at games. There are um, lots of words of encouragement on the sideline, which is what you always want to see. So uh, obviously these three games have been blowouts. So what do you think has been working for you guys, like game plan wise? Do you think it might be partially that they've like played together so long and just that chemistry? I think there's that. Um, lacrosse uh, requires a lot of communication on the field. And the girls know that that is key. And so even when we come off the field for short breaks or during halftime, you know, during timeouts, um, that's one of the first things I think I almost always hear out of them is we've got to continue to communicate or we need to communicate more. And um, I think they see the results of that, I mean, based on just our first three wins, so. Yeah, I remember yesterday, I didn't hear Fayette County talking much, but I constantly heard, you know, coaches and players, everyone was communicating. So, um, do you think there's anything you need to work on? I mean, it's hard to tell with three blowouts, but. Uh, there's always something to work on. Um, the girls actually said themselves they needed to communicate more. So, I mean, that's awesome. I think they're doing a great job, but there's always room for improvement. Um, we're going to work a little bit more on our speed um, on the field um, and really transition down the field, um, especially when we have turnovers and getting it from, you know, downfield. And uh, it's, I mean, they, they've obviously been very successful, but there's, and there's always just coming back to the mechanics, ground balls, passes and catching, um, all those individual items come together, but they can always be worked on, always. I thought we were a very, very good passing team. But um, I believe here you were the basketball cheerleading coach and then you stopped doing that. So what made you come back to coaching? Um, I, we have lacrosse in our family. And so I have some knowledge for that. And um, I love watching the girls game of lacrosse. I watch a little bit of the boys as well, but I've spent more time with the girls lacrosse. And I've been very involved in the community uh, league, the Peachtree City Warriors program. And so, um, just having some of that knowledge, I felt like, you know, this was a good opportunity for me to, you know, have that role here in the, in the school setting as well. So um, we have a pretty young team, decently young team. So is there something that, you know, you're learning as like a rookie coach with those players? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. When we're on the sidelines, if there's times, I mean, I admit there's times when like, okay, I didn't understand that call. Could you explain it to me? Um, and, you know, of course, they're more than willing to sit with me and say, okay, Coach Lehman, this is what we're doing. And they've just been phenomenal, very supportive of me, um, which has been great. Um, they, they are a young team, which for me is awesome because I see myself seeing these girls in the next couple of years and having that opportunity to watch them grow through the sport and, and um, hopefully see more and more success as we go on. So. Um, I just want to talk about like the Fayette County game real quick, you know, obviously a decisive win and, um, you know, but how do you make sure that like with all these blowouts that you're not getting kind of like over your head thing, you can destroy anyone for when it gets harder? 
we have those discussions on the sidelines and we let the girls know that you know there's always room for improvement we have to prepare for those more challenging games and we have um, scheduled ourselves into some games that will present us with, mm -hmm. with more challenge which is what we need you know that's that's the only way you really get better and so um, of course Macintosh will mm -hmm. definitely be a challenge um, for us that's always a good rival game um, but then we also have some non-area games that we're scheduled to play um, coming up so and those will be home games as well so that'll be good hopefully we can pull some support from our student body to come out and help us out with that. Yeah. Um, and the Fayette County game, we won 27-1. to I'm doing a story on that. It should be up around Tuesday on theproudlynews.org. Um, and just finally, just after this kind of started uh, to the season, how do you feel like going through the rest of the year? Oh, I feel really good. I feel like last year the girls did um, take it to the Final Four. And uh, we have a lot of that talent back this year. And so I have no doubt that these girls can take it further than that, I'd like to see us go obviously all the way to state. So that would be that would be a plus for my first year um, for sure. But it would all be on the, you know it's it's their talent, it's their work, their hard work that they put into it, and um, they they truly deserve all the credit. So did you like you said they were final fourteen last year? So when you first came on, did you feel like any pressure to get back there, or were you like nervous coming to a team that had just had that success? Um, no, but I I think the reason. I didn't necessarily have um, full knowledge of all the players or full interaction with all of them, but I, I am familiar with several of the girls just because of the background that I have through the rec league. And so um, there was already a, a little bit of a connection there with some of the girls, I think, which really helped. Um, but no, I, I wasn't nervous <laughs> at all. I mean, I, and plus the community coaches that we have, Coach King and Coach Beersley, are phenomenal coaches um, they are tremendous with those girls very encouraging they know the sport inside and out the girls are great at listening and you know practicing what's been taught so you know I think, I think they're in good hands and I think they're gonna do great okay well that's all I have thank you so much for joining us this is the new girls lacrosse coach coach Lehman um, so uh, obviously we're having a great year so uh, in our next game you need to come out and see your Lady Panthers thank you <laughs>